Yo, what's up guys? John back on the video and today, man, coming at y'all with some more NBA breaking news. Now today, we have a tweet from Woes and the tweet reads, Raptors Chris Boucher has a sprained MCO in his left knee and his return timetable will be based on rehab process. Sources tell at the Athletic and Nash Stadium, good news, test revealed no major injury in the breakout power forward slash center's knee. Which is bad news, but the injury could have definitely been worse, which is a little bit fortunate because he could have been out for potentially the rest of the season. And now there's a slight chance that he might be able to return this season. Now on to the Raptors. The Raptors have had one of the weirdest seasons this season that I have seen in a while. They're currently the 12th seed in the Eastern Conference, but they're only half a game behind the Wizards to hold the 10th and final spot in the the playoffs for the play in tournament so the raptors have dealt with so many injuries this season to their star players to the bench players literally about everybody on the raptors team has been injured and also out because of the rona which sidelines them for a good amount of time they just have dealt with so many different things this season and have even dealt with moving all the way to Tampa Bay because of not being able to play in Toronto and are only half a game behind the Wizards to be in the playing tournament, which is truly remarkable to say the least. Now, the Raptors are in a very, very odd place. I always see fans on Twitter wanting them to tank, and then there's another half that wants them to be competitive and fight for the playoffs. This is a mixture of people that want them to tank, and a mixture of fans wanting them to compete for the playoffs. And in my opinion, if I was a Raptors fan, I would without a doubt want my team to continue to lose and continue to go down in the Easter Conference standings to be able to draft a really good top 10 pick in this year's draft class which is honestly a really really good draft class this season. Now my reasoning behind this is the Raptors have honestly a really really good team. They've just dealt with so much this season, so much injuries, so much off the court issues that really made it hard for them to be competitive this year. But next year, they will be completely fine because they will have a starting lineup of potentially Kyle Lowry, even though he might leave at the one Fred Van Vliet who broke out this season and went absolutely insane this season, having his best season by far with the Raptors this season. At small forward, they have young small forward who's extremely underrated in the OG and Anubi, a great two-way player, really coming into his own this season and absolutely breaking out. But he will continue to improve every single season now. So OG will be an extremely important part of Toronto's future to come. And at power forward, they have one of their best players, Askal Siakam, one of the league's best power forwards and honestly a very underrated player due to the fact that he gets an enormous amount of hate and is honestly a very elite player in today's league. Now, the thing that's kind of shaky about the Raptors is their center situation. If they're not starting Chris Boucher at center, then their center position is really weak. But if I was them, I want to have Chris Boucher starting because he's just that good. For a majority of this season, they had Aaron Baines starting and Aaron Baines is not particularly good at all. He definitely is not good this season like he was last year with the Suns and previous years as well. This has honestly been one of Aaron Baines worst years in the league and this is why if I was a Raptors fan I would want them to tank because this is a slight chance that you can go and get the best center in the draft class from USC Evan Mobley and give the Raptors their starting center which they desperately need. Now the thing is what if Kyle Lowry does not return to the Raptors? This means that Fred Van Vliet will man the starting point guard position and they have a really underrated player who they will most likely resign in Gary Trent Jr. to be their starting shooting guard. So they will have Van Vliet, Gary Trent Jr., OG Ananubi, Pascal Siakam, Evan Mobley potentially, slash Chris Boucher, and have a backup point guard of Malachi Flynn, who honestly has been playing great basketball as of recent. While Lowry was injured, and also after Lowry came back to the lineup, he still has been playing really good basketball. They also could potentially have Chris Boucher off the bench, which is a great piece to have off the bench. And they also have money to spend in the offseason to be able to get a couple of good other bench players. 
But yeah, I really don't feel like this Chris Boucher injury will hurt them too much because I feel like the Raptors really aren't fighting, I would say, for a playoff spot right now. Trying to at least go for like, like a top 10 pick to have a chance at getting a guy like Evan Mobley or somebody else of that caliber in their lineup because this Raptors team can be extremely, extremely scary. And we will all see this come next season with a fully healthy Raptors team and potentially having them back in Toronto. So... That would definitely give them a huge boost next season. But other than that, yo, that is the video. Make sure to go down below, drop a like, comment down below, sub up. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Prayers up for Chris Boucher. Hopefully we can see him on the court this season, but it looks pretty slim due to the pressure that we got this season so far. But hopefully we can see him return to the lineup this season for the Raptors. But if he doesn't, then we'll see him next season for probably his second break a year because... Boucher definitely came into his own this season and played tremendous basketball. Other than that, praise up to Chris Boucher. Hopefully, you guys didn't enjoy the video. Make sure to follow me on both Twitter and Twitter. It's Boy John. Hopefully, you guys didn't enjoy the video. It's Boy John, and I'm out, man. Peace.